we've got the wheels here some wind space wheels just turned up i'm going to put these on the back of the e-bike and we're going to get them home somehow yeah, we've got the wheels on it's windy as we're going to fall and southwesterly wheels are on let's go home our box oh we've got back back to the base back to the service course put some this is the first day of summer here in south australia south australia put the jack on this one the best items of clothing i have so keep you so toasty you've got the old organic athlete on We've got the wind space wheels here. We're going to compare them weight wise. We've got the scales here. We'll compare it with a lightweight wheel. Lightweight wheels are probably the the benchmark for clinches carbon weight wise. So we'll weigh this and then we'll get this wind space thing going. Let's check it out. Alright, let's unbox this wind piece. We've got a cat over here. We've got a curious, a curious pussy cat. And then, uh,. Alright, let's open these bad boys up. So yeah, this is a uh, wind space coming out of Xiamen, Xiaomen, China. I'm not sure you pronounce it, but it's a place that this uh, frame behind me is from. So it is probably, correct me if I'm wrong, Xiaomen, Xiaomen. In China, this place is where, you know, most of your S-Work stuff's come out of. S-Work's made in China now, um, which is fine. And, uh, <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. But let me ask you something. Oh, I wouldn't buy anything from China. Yeah. It's like, well, yeah. Is that Samsung made in China? Is that Korea? No, it's made in China. Made in China? Okay. Apple's made in China. New brand, brand new MacBooks are made in China. So like 90% of the stuff here in Australia is made in China. There's jackets, China. Hats from China. Oh, here we go. Unbox it. So China makes... China is the world's factory, basically. Okay. So what we got here, we've got a Tupperware container. Okay, so we got a... We got carbon brake pads because if you're running carbon rims, you need special brake pads. Because the the goal with the, the these are rim brakes, obviously, the pads wear out. They're softer than normal alloy pads. It's got some spare spokes here. Okay, so this is a proprietary spoke, which loses points, but you can get spares, so that's okay. But with, with your lightweight wheel here, if you break a spoke, you basically just go to the landfill, or maybe you can ship it back to Deutschland and they can help you out. So be careful with those. Um, but yeah, so so far so good. So we've got skewers in there, and we've got some rim strips. So and a little Tupperware container. I can use, reuse that. And uh, here's the wheels here. So they package them pretty well. Pretty standard. And you always want to check in the bottom of the box as well. You never know what's down there. Could be some nothing else in there so that would go in the recycling bin and this is the, the box wind space racing carbon wheel set hand built 3d drilled spoke holes high performance rim so that's about it so thanks to joe at china cycling for organizing this um, well as, that's light that's light we'll recycle the plastic packaging as well do our bit for the environment that is light, wow. The feel, the instant feel, it feels quality. It feels like my Envies, it feels like the lightweights. Actually, the lightweights feel cheap. Even though there's a soup, these are the most expensive we can get, they do feel cheap because they are handmade and they're buckled, they're wobbly out the box, but they're cool. But these, these feel much more precision. If I close my eyes and feel them, they just feel like really nice and they're a carbon bladed spoke so i wonder if you could use any spoke if you had to i'll, I'll email message joe maybe maybe you could use the straight pull i'm not sure we'll find out let's check the bearing quality man these are light that's smooth wow that's <laughs> i mean i'm impressed wow this is this is very, this is a sign of the times it's got uh it's got some rim tape in there already maybe uh, tubeless ready i think they are i'll I think Joe told me I forgot amnesia, but yeah, very nicely finished. Oh, have a look at that, Natasha. Mm. Have a feel. What do you think of it? Very light. Very light. Wow, this is crazy light. Oh, and what I do like about it is it's quite wide rim. We want to do a test ride. This is just the first unboxing video of the weights. We'll because it's about the sun's about to set, but we'll put this on the bike tonight and take it for a ride tomorrow, and we'll give you first impressions on the wheels. Let's listen to that. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. John Kenny's. John Kenny. Ooh, that's it. So it was, uh, no, it doesn't, it's not a, it's not a free, uh, don't pop off. Yes, I do. So it's almost like, you've got some of your standard bearings in there, you can replace those. Um, it's sort of, it feels like a DT Swiss sort of style. It's this three hard body pop off. No, nah, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm going to try to break the rules. But yeah, quality wise, it's as good as anything. Like the, the finish, this is as good as anything out there. You know, I've got a lot of wheels. I've got probably over 50 pairs of wheels. And I've had, a, I've ridden them all. You know, why would you buy a zip? Envy, why would you even buy lightweights in 2020 when you got these bad boys? You know, like, wow, these are impressive. They just feel quality. That's the wind space, is a lightweight. It feels cheap. <laughs> It feels good, but it just it's, the rim is very, very skinny. There's, there's enough chat. Let's get let's get the scales on. Let's get the scales on. All right, Natasha, you might have to squidge over here. You might have to shimmy over here. Let's weigh this bad boy. So first of all, we'll weigh the lightweight. This is a lightweight clincher. I think it may be. It's a clincher Gen 4, Milenstein, 662. Let's say, okay, so. Hashtag <laughs> accuracy. 665. Dodgily weight. 665. That's, that's light. And now the wind space, hyperspace. So. Wow. 710. What was the light weight again? 665. Six, six, six. So they're doing 50 grams difference almost? Is that 50 grams? <laughs> let's, let's do that proper. Let's do that proper. So I'm getting 708. 708. 708. Six fifty seven. So it's about 51 grams. 51 grams! You're gonna say 51 grams. 51 grams! How much do these cost? It's about seven and a half thousand dollars Australian. How much do these cost? These are like a thousand or eleven hundred USD. 50 grams on the rear. Front. That's impressive. I already know these, these wind space will ride better because they've got a wider rim, so it's feel more confident. 550 on the front. That's light. Damn. Damn, 550. So what's that? 550 plus 710. That's, uh, okay, so that's 550. So 550 grams, 710. So what's that? Is that 1260? Man. So we're, we're probably going to be about maybe, uh, I'll forget a front wheel, maybe going to say about 80 grams to the lightweights. Lightweights, maybe 80 grams less. But then you've got, you know, less braking performance, not a stable rim. But again, they do look cool. Lightweights do look cool. But I'm going to say there's going to be more aero because a deep section rim today was really, really windy. Like we had a full on southwester, and so these are 38 mil, so it's going to be heaps more aero in there than out there. Um, yeah. So if a deep dish wheel in Adelaide, I don't know where you live, but here in Adelaide it's really, really windy. So I'm, I like the shallow ones. These, these do come in 50 mil, but personally for me. You know, I'm riding really windy conditions anywhere, everywhere, and so me shallows ago. These are impressive. Anyway, that's this unboxing video. We're going to do more tests with them. We're going to put them up against the lightweights in the hill climb. How, how about I get the front lightweight? The front lightweight is, uh, oh, that's the tubular. You got it it's, it's behind you. I've just got a tire on. Oh, true. Hey, pause the camera. I'll whip the tire off. Let's weigh it up. Let's get it going. Lightweight. This is, these are the Millenstein Clincher Gen 4s. And I'm gonna take this front tire off so we can give it the exact weight. Give it the exact weight. Um, and also, another thing I like about these is it looks like the tires will go on pretty easily because they've got a deep channel. A secret when you're putting tires on, 
is squeeze the bead of the tire into the channel and it, your tire will just pop on. Right? So if your tires are ever tight, it's if, if, even if they're tight to get off, here's the tip, is you want to loosen the seal, you want to push the bead of the tire into the channel and then that will make your tire come off so much easier. Right? Sometimes you don't even need tire levers. But just for, for speed's sake, we will use a tire lever to take it off. Um, but yeah, if your tire's been on for a while, it can get a sticky on the rim there. And then we've got, oh, slice the bladed spokes and the knuckles. Good thing we've got the kickbox of strong knuckles here, because that definitely... I got my little, my little, my little, uh, my little mitts bits for it. So we're focusing the job here at hand. Try, try not to show off too much for like a schoolboy Christmas. Oof, yeah, we're up there. Actually, that's not. And you can flip the tie lever around. These, these tires have been on a long time. A few years maybe. And we take it off. Yeah, it's just really sticking together in there. Jesus, carbon, carbon crashing already. Alright. Carbon wheels are pretty strong. I can hear stuff like that. I'll cry when the camera's turned off. Alright, here's the, the scales of truth here. Oh, oh, 547, 547, 547 grams. Let's do it again. You're not going to believe this. It says 546, it said 550 before. So the on par, the, the on par, front wheels are on par. Let's compare it to a head Belgian rim with a Bitex, which also make a great hub. Alloy, super cheap. 656, so you 100 grams heavier for the front wheel. Damn, these are light, man. The lightweight again, the rear. This, I can't believe how light this is, this is insane. 659. 659 for the rear. Where's the wind space? 659. Do you remember that, Natasha? Mm -hmm. I've already forgotten it. <laughs> 659. 706. So we're talking, there's about, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, around 50 grams mm. difference for the wheel set. The front wheels are the same weight, pretty much. So this is insane. Wow, this is hilariously crazy. And then, you know, like it's crazy. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna actually gonna, I'm gonna put this in the bike tonight. This will, I'll upload this video now, and then next video will be right. I, I can't wait to try these out. I'm curious to see how they ride. See you next video. You got any questions, hit us up down below. You got any questions about this product, let me know. This is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, another thing that's really cool is the engagement. Look at how tight the engagement is, which is good. You know I mean? There's no like slop there. Look at that. That is like on, 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 on. That's just, that's what you want. You want instant power transfer. All right, so wind space. Lightweight. DT Swiss, which is my favorite hub. All right, we could have a new favorite hub here. Feel that? Look at that slop. Look at that slop. Now, granted, you can get an upgrade to a 36 pole or whatever it is. Look at that. Look how, loose, look how sloppy that is. That's not really, you know. That's not, that's, not, that's not so good. Let's go to the Bitex hub. Check this out. That's pretty good. That's better than the lightweight, better than the DT Swiss. That's pretty good. So that's not as good as the wind space, but better than the DT Swiss lightweight. It's got a little anti-bite there. That's a good idea. Does the wind space have the anti-bite little thing? Let's have a little look. See, I think that's a great idea. The lightweight doesn't have it. I don't think the wind space has it. So that's that's one thing I think could be done is having that little anti-bite sleeve in there. I don't think it has one. I can't see it. But this engagement feels very, very good. It feels very, very tight. So my improvement straight away would be to put a new anti-bite in there just to protect the, gou the gouging of the 3-hub cassette body. That's my first critique. 
but otherwise it feels tight. This is Shimano SRAM compatible 11 speed. This is good.